Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm really excited to be talking to Blake Christian and Roy Moffis right now about a new housing design project that is hitting Park City in the coming um, months, years maybe. We'll be uh, talking about that right now. It's all about seasonal workers and getting them the housing that they need. How are you two gentlemen doing this morning? Great. Great. Excellent. Thank again. you for coming on. Really appreciate it. I'm excited to talk about this because it's something that we've talked about on the show before. Uh, we're very grateful for the seasonal workers that come, come in to Park City and really make things happen during the winter months. Um, but let's talk about uh, the housing situation for them, which has kind of been uh, topsy-turvy in, in some situations. Um, right. You guys are trying to create a solution for that, right? Let's absolutely. talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And uh, largely, uh, it's about creating a conversation about the solution because it really is uh, a problem that's going to have to be fixed by you know, city, county, and private. We've really got to have the whole conversation and see what works for people. Everyone kind of has to come and sit together at the table and figure out as a community how we're going to make this happen how and how we're going to make this. it work, exactly. right? So what's the steps that you guys are taking, Blake? So we've been talking about this for at least two years up here. I developed this idea about six or seven years ago. And uh, so what we've done is we've actually built uh, the first prototype and it's a fully functioning 45 foot container, totally off grid solar powered 5000 watt system you know again just a beautiful piece bamboo finishes two bedroom sleeps for full kitchen bath some pictures of them right now it's absolutely i mean the, the finishings in them are very nice like we were talking nice. during the break even though it's a sh it's a shipping container and i've seen these designs many times before they are so comfortable on the inside that you would not have any idea that you're inside of a shipping container. Very homey. It feels very welcoming. It doesn't feel like you're like you're sleeping in this kind of industrial setting, I guess right. you could say. Um, but from the outside, and, and the design as well, it kind of goes into it. it they're very long lasting. The whole point of the, the way that you design them is for sustainability. So they, they last long and they don't leave a very large footprint. Can we kind of talk Absolutely. about that? Absolutely. Uh, we used a, a, a 50 year siding hardy panel, we insulated them uh, really well. There's a contiguous layer of insulation, rigid insulation on the outside, uh, which actually makes the metal of the container work for us as a heat mass okay, to wow. really help uh, maintain temperatures. Uh, we also insulate on the inside, uh, but you know, making sure to not lose all of that space and in that kind of a space setting you know two inches is a big deal absolutely, absolutely. and we were kind of talking about that during break uh, about the fact that when you're in a larger environment you don't notice the small things the finishing touches right. but when you're in an environment that's kind of a little bit more compact like that it's important to uh, kind of make everything very nice and make sure that everything's finished in the best way possible because you are going to be up close and personal with absolutely. those finishing cuts those finishing welds stuff like that so absolutely it's important to have that quality of work. We do have a video actually, I'm pretty sure that you guys sent to us of one of these. Let's take a look at that right now. Wow, it looks amazing, and, and like I said, the design looks fantastic. It's going kind of under the name of Park City Base Camp, correct? Right. And you were with Gorilla Design. Let's right. talk about kind of how you got started in, in this designing of these kind of sustainable smaller homes in the first place. Where did you get the inspiration? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> I moved to Utah uh, after surviving Hurricane Katrina. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we started to think about buildings that were really going to withstand storms and that sort of thing. And, you know, your home really has to do one job. It's to shelter your family from the storm. If it's not doing that, we might want to rethink it. And then it technically is it's not a home. It's not a home, really, exactly. <laughs> okay. 
And Perfect. so that's where the, the inspiration sort of started to come from. And I don't know, I say that me and, me and Blake were apparently separated at birth, but <laughs> uh, it just so happened that we, uh, we had a conversation uh, about an hour and a half at a Starbucks, and, and he was telling me about his project, and I was telling him, it, as it works out, I've been designing these for 12 years, and it was just a natural fit. And to pull in with uh, On Top Solar and Scott Whiting, uh, you can reach those guys at ontopsolarse.com. Uh, those guys have gone above and beyond and really done something different. Uh, they don't get a lot of chances to really get to work with battery backup systems, and it's something they've been trying to let people know. Uh, you know, when you get blackouts or yeah. things like that, uh, your your power supply is uninterrupted if you have that. If you have that solar power, right? Right, and this is designed. Uh, you know, we have, we have extreme temperatures. You know, a lot of people just visit here just think it's you know snowy in the winter, and then it and it's calms beautiful down. in the summer, right? Yeah. But it's it gets pretty hot. You know, I mean, we have hundred degree days. So this is built with you know about an R thirty five factor with uh, with all the insulation. Uh, have a heat pump system that's constantly changing the air in there so you're getting fresh air all the time it's a and heat it works, recovery ventilator it'll, it'll work just as well in the in the summer uh, period uh, because we we do you know plan on having these occupied in the summer might be mountain bikers might be short-term stayers that you know can't afford the normal hotel just staying for a but, couple uh, days yeah so this these have been built purpose built uh, for the year-round visitor well it's great when you have when when all of this thought goes into the design it, i mean it just comes out flawlessly blake i just kind of want to wrap things up by talking about the fact that we we have over three thousand people as seasonal workers right. come to park city on a yearly basis why is it important that we we as we get this housing for them because, you know, the Parkites have such, you know, we have a, a fantastic lifestyle here, you know, and we love all the amenities. And a lot of people, you know, sometimes the lifties are kind of the invisible, you know, you know, workforce sector. And if they're, if we can't recruit people to work the resorts and we're, you know, getting to that point where we're pricing them out of the mm -hmm. market, uh, then we're not going to have uh, all of those people helping us when we're up on the mountain. And so for again continued lifestyle for sustainability of our economic model we need to have affordable housing and we feel this is not the solution right. this is a a short-term fix until we can build out workforce housing mm -hmm. this has been a three decade yeah it's problem. been a major issue for a long for and a long time. Uh, we feel that this will keep us from sliding back further and uh, our units uh, on display uh, for at least another week uh, at, the, at, at the Utah Film Studios. Utah Film Studios. So yep. you can kind of go and get a little example of what these look like. You can walk around and actually, I mean, right. get tactile with we, it and, and feel everything that's inside of there. Yep. Uh, Blake, go ahead. And so uh, they can contact me at uh, either text or call me at 305-805, I'm sorry, 562-305-8050 or uh, contact us on our on our website, uh, either Gorilla Design or uh, or Park City Base Camp. Park City Base Camp, and that's just parkcitybasecamp.com? I'm sorry, Park City Base Camp, Utah. Park City Base Camp, Utah, <laughs> dot com, correct? Right. And then Gorilla, um, Gorilla Designs, that's just Gorilla Design dot org. Dot org. Perfect. Right. I want to thank both of you for coming on and talking about this. Uh, I really I, I agree, it's just something that needs to be um, approach in a great way which you guys are doing but it's also a solution that needs to be fixed so well, come on out and present. take a look man. absolutely <laughs> yeah. of course we need to get out there get and, and take a out. look for sure blake always a pleasure having you on thank pleasure you pleasure speaking to you roy it's a pleasure meeting you thank you absolutely we'll keep up to date with this and keep you posted with everything that's happening with this park city base camp we have a, a little bit of footage coming up here in the next couple days of a tour of one of those sites so we'll keep you up to date with that as well be sure and check out parkcitybasecamputah.com and gorilladesigns.org for more information We'll be right back right here on the Mountain Morning Show. Don't go anywhere.